everybody, welcome to The Wild Dog Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is going to be a look at our brand new Who Would Win unit studies. These unit studies use these very popular Who Would Win books by Jerry Pilata. These are some of Emily's absolute favorites. She has been begging me to do something like this forever, so I cannot wait to show you what we have come up with. Each of these units will be based off of one book, so you can pick and choose which ones your kids are most interested in, for example, if you have a dinosaur lover, you could pick up Triceratops versus Spinosaurus, as well as Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Velociraptor. Or if you have an ocean lover, you have ones like Elephant Seal versus Walrus and Killer Whale versus Great White Shark. Or if you have a raptor lover in your house, Falcon versus Hawk. There is literally something for every animal lover in this series. Before I show you what is included in each of the mini units, I thought I would show you which books we have done a mini unit for. There are 21 in total. So like I said, something for everybody. We have a Wolverine versus Tasmanian Devil, Lion versus Tiger, Coyote versus Dingo, Jaguar versus Skunk, Komodo Dragon versus King Cobra, Hyena versus Honey Badger, Alligator versus Python, Whale versus Giant Squid, Rhino versus Hippo, Rattlesnake versus Secretary Bird, Green Ants versus Army Ants, Falcon versus Hawk, Walrus versus Elephant Seal, Killer Whale versus Great White Shark, Triceratops versus Spinosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Velociraptor. Tarantula versus scorpion, lobster versus crab, polar bear versus grizzly bear, and hammerhead versus bull shark. And last but definitely not least, hornet versus wasp. So this is an example at what one of the mini units is going to look like. All of them are set up very similarly. We're gonna be looking at falcon versus hawk today. So we have the cover page. We have the unit study page. This is kind of the resource page. So we have the required book, supplemental books about falcons, supplemental books about hawks, a falcon YouTube playlist with a QR code, a hawk YouTube playlist with a QR code, and additional places to learn about animals. Now each of these things is linked. It is a clickable link. So I just click on it and it'll take you to an example of that so that you can look at it or scan the QR code for ease to watch those YouTube videos. We have a custom coloring page for each of them. Then we have copy work in a multiple different levels. So here we have print tracing. We have print copy work. We have cursive tracing. And then we have cursive copy work. And now this copy work is facts about each of the animals. We have prediction writing. So what would happen if a falcon and a hawk came face to face? What if they had a fight? Before you read, write your prediction. And then we have a research graphic organizer for each of the animals. So here's a falcon and here's the hawk. They'll be writing their scientific name. They'll be circling whether it's a vertebrate or an invertebrate, writing or drawing more about their physical characteristics, their diet, their habitat, and some additional fun facts. We will be doing some mapping with this page. So where do they live? You'll be using the color code to color in each of the animals and then coloring in where they live in the world. And then a bonus based on where the falcon and hawk live in the world, would it be possible for them to meet in real life? Here we have who has the advantage. Each of the books has a page similar to this in the back. This is just making it so that you're not writing in the book and you can actually have your child write down who has the advantage to help them kind of see who would win or who they think would win. We have a compare and contrast Venn diagram for the animals. We have an alternate ending. After reading the book, decide on an alternate ending that might have happened instead and write it below. So maybe they disagree with how the book ended. Then we have a true and false fact sorting game. So in this game, there will be a true and a false kind of card here. And then there will be eight to 10 different facts. So they would just sort the facts 
true or false. Kind of giving them a hands-on element to this. And then there is also an answer key, just in case you're not sure, or if you didn't read the book yourself, you can still check them. And because you know we love games here at the Waldock Way, we decided to create an Who Would Win Game Pack add-on. So this is an optional additional thing you can add to any of the mini units or all of the mini units. In this game pack, there are going to be directions as well as printables to be able to play a memory game, a bingo, Pictionary, Guess in 10, and a Lifespan War. The printables are going to look something like this, just to give you an example. There's six different bingo boards. And then this is what the war cards look like. For memory, you would just take those small cards and flip them upside down. And then once you've done that, you would just take turns flipping them over to see if you had a match. And then for bingo, you would use those same small cards and you would just Pick one. Do I have a coyote? Yes, I do. Do I have a hyena? No, I don't. And you would just keep going until you got diagonal, horizontal, or vertical. For a Pictionary, you're going to use the same small cards here. You're going to put them into a hat or a bowl. And then you're each going to pick one out and use some sort of maybe dry erase board or paper and draw and see if the other team can guess. Very similar for guess in 10. You're gonna pick one and then everybody else is going to ask yes or no questions. Can it fly? Yes. Um, is it small? Yes. Um, is it purple? No. And if they can guess what it is in under 10 questions, then they get a point and you'll predetermine an amount of points for that game beforehand. And then the last game is Lifespan War. So there are cards for each animal and they have their average lifespan down at the bottom. So you would deal the cards evenly. Everybody would have them flipped upside down. You would each flip a card. And so between these two, you can see the sperm whale is 70 years. The giant squid is five. So obviously the sperm whale would win. Much like any other war, you would keep going until somebody had all of the cards.